All right, welcome back to another Conquer Rangers episode for Manager. Uh, we are ready for what is a big game. Um, home to Newcastle, as you see there, Man United beat Leeds early on in the day. Uh, a win gives us the title. Uh, it seals it. Um, I'll show you the league just to prove where we are. So, uh, obviously Man United won. We've now got two games in hand on them. Uh, they are eight points behind us. Uh, the maximum Man United can get is 81 points, uh, meaning we, um, that's obviously the same goes for Spurs because they're three points behind Man United with a game in hand. Uh, so the maximum that either Spurs or Man United can get is 81 points, um, meaning that we need 82 to win the title. We're currently on 80. So a win here means that we will win the title. We will be crowned champions with four games to go. Our record against Newcastle is obviously very good, as you can see there. Uh, paid them 17 times, won 14 of them, drawn two, lost one. Let's check out when that loss was. Quite a remarkable record against Newcastle, actually. Very good. One of the teams that we beat consistently. But the league form has just been a bit tricky recently. So we lost to Newcastle a while ago. Oh, we're talking over seven years ago. We lost at home 3-1. Sergei Pavlenko scored. Okay, and the first, so the first five times we played them, drawn 2-1-2, two, two, lost 1, and have won every game since... We have beaten Newcastle for every game, every time we've played them since that loss. So for the past six years, we've won every game. Uh, not conceded many goals in that either. Uh, conceded, scored a fair few in the last two. Uh, beat them 3-0 earlier early the season. Two for Paul Gek, one for Ben Marber. The two wingers linking up. Uh, but yeah. We've got a very good record against them, and I expect that to continue. Obviously, a win gives us a title. A draw doesn't quite do it. A draw basically nearly does it, because it then means that we can still... Only way you can lose a title is on goal difference. Um, so I'm, I'm going to... Oh, do I... Do I continue with the experiment of Bruninho? I might do, you know. I might do. Let's see what the selection advice is. Uh, I imagine it's pretty much... Oh, he's going with Zanfaroff. Oh, that's because Monaghan's injured. Yeah, that's because Monaghan's injured. Uh, that's fair enough. I'd say what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not going to play uh, Bruninho in, uh, in attacking midfielder, but I'm going to have him a deep line forward, get Zanfaroff going forward so we can fill that gap. There we go. That's what we're going for today. Dean Hughes, central defensive midfielder. Yeah, let's go full strength just to make sure that we get the job done. Um, we are, we have still got a, a Champions League game to worry about, um, so I'm going to try try and rotate as soon as I can. I don't want Kennedy on the bench. So who have I got in there that I'm going to be worried about? Players I'd be keen to take off will be Stocker, the wingers, and Bruninho. So I need replacements for all of them. So I'm going to put Ismaili on the bench instead of Perez today. Um, I don't need Kennedy. I've got Roblevsky and a central midfielder who can do a job would probably be, be Fatai, wouldn't it? It would probably be Fatai. I just realised I took him off. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take off Roblevsky, put um, Augusto on the bench. It's mainly Perez. I don't really need Perez as well. Who else will I want to take off if 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 necessary? Or we got a defender. Let's go with Prosperi. Put Prosperi in there as well. There we go. Just the idea is that I'm hoping that the, the job gets done quite early on and then we can rest some players for what is going to be a huge game. I'm going to start attacking as well. Make sure they go for it. Let's go. Uh, this is the game. This is the game we've been waiting for. I said at the beginning of the season, I will resign if I don't win the league. And we've cruised it. We've absolutely cruised it. Only lost three games. Our actual league form in the last few games has not been very good. Um, but I still expect to win here. Uh, any ex concords Yeah, a couple. A couple I can see. Andy Ward, obviously, ex concord He was um, the East Youth. 
I thought he was going to be the next big thing, but it just never really worked out. I could never really find a first team place for him, and he had a few games, but um, yeah, sold him to Newcastle for 35 million. And he's been there ever since, to be fair. Uh, and this guy, Java Sainsbury, he is ex Concord, uh, a young young striker. Never played him, never really thought to play him. Sold him to Burnley for 7.75 million. Had one season, one real good season last year, and he's joined Newcastle. But he's not a goal scorer, is he? He scored nine goals this season, three goals last season. He's only ever scored 12 goals in his career. He's playing up front. Crazy stuff. Any other on the bench? A couple of Rodriguez's, Dominguez's. Lots of Latin sounding names for the Newcastle team, but no. That's that. Have we got any ex Newcastle players? I don't think so. No. Let's go then, boys. Expecting to get a certain result. Yeah. Um, win this one and seal the title for us. It's as simple as that. What a what a what a relatively straightforward season. You know, I would have really panicked if it was coming to the last few games, but we are in our going in our thirty fourth game, possibly having four games left of the season and winning the title. Um, I will rotate a lot in those last four games if we if we do the job today because obviously we've got some we've got an FA Cup final coming and we've got um obviously a really important Champions League semi final. It's Man United, which is gonna be very difficult. Probably the hardest semi final we've ever had. Here's Harvey. Come on, get a goal. Zanfroff. Here's Zanfroff again. He's going alone, Zanfroff. He scored Get in! Sergei Zamfarov breaks into the eye, gets his first goal for a while, his fourth goal of the season. We're one nil up. And that is the goal. That's the goal at the moment. That seals the title. We will keep an eye on that. We've got another attack here from another throw in. But it's born to the area ahead of the way. It's Stocker. Have a go, lad, if you want. It's Ben Rabba. That's cleared away. Davis is there to tidy up. He's been brilliant this year, Davis. Garcia, Ben Rabba, play of the season for me, Ben Rabba. Here's Ben Rabba again! Wonderful strike, 2 0. Ben Rabba's player of the season for me. He's been absolutely brilliant, back to his best. I think, in terms of average rating, he, it has been his best season uh, ever since his first one. His first one was at, his breakout season was amazing. Um, he's been great. He's been absolutely brilliant. And it looks like the title is going to come back to Concord. Our second ever Premier League title. Two assists from Stocker as well, which I'm pleased with. A few bookings in there, though. Three bookings already. I mean, that's the way we play. We we, we do tend to try and hold the possession. As soon as we lose it, I'm chucking a cynical foul. But we've got a free kick here. Head of the way. It wasn't a great delivery, but here's Ben Rabber again. Puts the ball into the area. Head of the way again. And the long before Poyat heads it forward. Zamfarov again! Saved! Good strike by Zamfarov. There's another opportunity. Poyak tackled. <clears throat> oh, well played, Garcia. Ben Rabba. That's a foul, surely. Kept played on. Zamfarov. Ben Rabba. Bruninho. Stocker. It's 3 now. I don't know what happened there. But patient play from the boys, and it's party atmosphere here at the Concord Stadium. Stocker with two goals, uh, two assists and a goal. And Newcastle are going to put one back? No, they, they haven't. They're, we're going to counter-attack. Here's Zamfarov. Surely not a fourth. He's already got one himself. Gives it to Ben Rabba. He's still got it. Brininho blocked. And Newcastle get clear. That's going to be half-time, I think. 3-0. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, oh dear. Ah, okay. I just saw that. It's 3 0. We're cruising. Um, uh, very happy. Just keep it up. But I've just seen that Ben Rab has got an injury there. It's only an orange one, so hopefully it'll be out for a couple of days. I'm going to bring on Hackett just to make sure that uh, we don't aggravate that injury or exacerbate the situation anymore. But we're cruising, lads. Going to be crowned champions. We will carry on. <clears throat> oh, it's well played there, Reed. Here's Reed. Chats Newcastle. Good save, Robinson. Best chance of the game for Newcastle there, though. 
Should have scored. They've got a corner here. Clear away. Where are that? Clear away. Poyak. Long ball forward. Bruni is a bit late on that. Oh, it's not dealt with very well there. Zamfaroff gives it side. Hack it for four. Hack it for four. Ah, oh, brilliant. Hackett's first goal of the game, eighth of the season. Zamfarov with an assist. Buzzing, lads. This is a brilliant performance. Completely killed the game. Newcastle haven't stood a chance. They're in deep trouble, Newcastle. They're only three points off the relegation zone with the teams below them having a game in a hand. They're in danger. I thought they looked handy at the beginning of the season as well. I think they won their first couple of games and they were top of the league, but they've uh, completely fallen away. <coughs> um... So, uh, in terms of sort of making sure I give players rests, uh, I'm going to take off Polyak and bring on Ismaili, and we'll think about the last one. It might be Stocker, it might be Bruninho. It's going to be one of those two, I think, that I'm going to bring off. Uh, Stocker's had an absolute blind over game, two assists and a goal. He doesn't score many goals, Stocker, but I think he should do more. To be, I know he's deep line playmaker, so the idea is not he's not going forward to score goals. He's playing deeper to play those balls forward but he could he's, he's he's a good finisher here's Hackett oh brilliant from Hackett surely not a fifth put in the area oh it is <laughs> terrible defending Kevin is Mailey fifth goal of the game we are cruising here what a way to win the league absolute carnival atmosphere at the Concord Stadium 5-0 up Newcastle do have an opportunity. No, that's claimed by Robinson. That probably means we're going to get a counter-attack. You've got players out on the right there. I would use them. Go short. Here's Garcia. Here's Hackett. He's already scored one. He's running through already. Hackett strikes it wide. I'm going to keep it attacking. Might as well. They're playing well. The score going well. Everyone's on a seven-point rating at least. A lot of these are coming from sort of counter-attacks here. Here's Ismaili. He's already got a goal. Cuts inside tackle. Bruninho yet to score. Hack it. Got to drop it back. Bruninho blocked. Zamfarov's there. <laughs> Second goal for Zamfarov. It's 6-0. Bruninho's shot was blocked. It came to uh, Zamfarov. So apparently that's two assists for Bruninho. Two goals and assists for Zamfarov. Two assists and a goal for Stocker. Hackett with a goal, Ismaili with a goal, two assists for Bruninho, one goal for Ben Rabba. We are cruising. Got one more sub to make. Um, it's going to be Stocker, I think. Uh, I'd quite like Bruninho to stay on the pitch and possibly get a goal. So I'm going to bring on Fatai, legendary midfielder. Christian Fatai comes on for world-class midfielder, Levin Stocker. It's another chance. Oh, Hackett. Should have scored, lad. 6-0 on the day that we win the league. Beautiful stuff. Not had a, a, a win as big as this for a while. You love to see it. Helps out with the goal difference massively. Not that that matters now that we're going to win the league. Ah, it's beautiful. What a way to do it. What a way to do it. Zamfarov has really staked his claim. i tell you what as well. Considering not playing him, he's really done well. Here's Zamfarov again. Puts the ball into the area. Headed by Hackett, but it goes wide. 6-0. Lovely stuff. Can't be unhappy with that. It's not gonna be not gonna be seventh, surely. Here's his melee. He's already scored one today. Is he gonna get another one? His melee shot calls wide. There's another opportunity. Or are we gonna wait for the whistle? Here's Hackett. Tackled well as a throw him. It'll probably play to the final whistle now, I think. 20 seconds to go before we are crowned champions of England. Here's Hackett, blocked out. It's been all us today, 26 shots. I've played attacking all game just to make sure of it. It's a free kick to Newcastle, but the referee should blow his whistle any moment now. He does. We are champions, boys. Get in there. Our second league title, our second Premier League title. I said at the beginning of the year that um, 
I will resign if I don't win the league title and we have done it by a distance. Uh, absolutely brilliant today. Uh, we've, they, we've, we've kind of come up short the last couple of years where we've been in positions where we could challenge and kind of fallen away. But this year, we just blew teams away. We were going further and further ahead at Christmas. We were in a, on one, about 12 points clear at Christmas. Something like that. Crazy stuff. You see the players and the team and myself at the front there with the trophy. Brilliant stuff. We haven't really made that many changes to the team in comparison to last year. The big, obviously, addition was bringing back Bruninho, but everyone else is basically the same. But we've done the job. Go into the team talk. And I will con congratulate them for their brilliant season. A brilliant way to win the title as well. A 6-0 win at home to Newcastle. They're whipping boys to us, to be honest, Newcastle. We tend to beat them every single time and beat them by quite comfortable amounts. Um, we've beaten them 6-0 today. It's a lovely way. I'm, I'm glad that I get I got to rest a couple of players as well. Obviously, Ben Rava went off injured at half time, but um, he did the, he did what he needed to do in that first half. They do the double, which means that because I know they were referring to the European Super Cup. Ben Rava's injured for one to three days, so I might rest him for the Man United game. We'll see. But there you go, a second title win in four years. It's been between us and the Manchester clubs over the last few years. Zamfaroff on form. I'm so pleased with Zanfroff today. You were superb. And I actually think that the, that sort of system of dropping Bruninho back and, and having Zanfroff go forward might be quite useful. Obviously worked in that game. Doesn't mean it's going to work in every single one. But there you go, lads. That's the first of the two uh, games we're going to have today. Um, the league title has been a formality for a while and I'm glad that we've got it over a lane. And what a way to do it with a 6-0 win. We've had a couple of games in recent times where we've really blown teams away. That 5 0 win against Spurs. There was a 6 3 win there against Millwall. There was a 4 0 against PSG. Yeah, it's been something. 3 0 three nils against Man City and Chelsea. Brilliant stuff. But now we're back to some serious stuff. Not that that wasn't serious, but this is really tricky now. Uh, Man United in the Champions League semi final. I think this is going to be our hardest Champions League semi final to date. But we are pushing for our sixth successive Champions League final and our third successive Champions League win. I'll see you in a few days. All right, then. Champions League semi-final, another one. We've been in a few of them. We've got another one now. We tend to do well in them, but we've got Man United today. And our record against Man United is pretty good. We've beaten them twice this year already. Um... I'm going to try and play his full strength. Oh, yeah. Uh, ben Rabba's not really fit enough to play a whole game. I'm not going to risk him even by bringing him off the bench. So I'm not going to bother and put him on the bench. Um, it's mainly actually had a good game last time. And to be fair, I should have a centre-back on the bench, shouldn't I? Uh, Harewood, I think, will go on the bench. Roblevsky, Prosperi... Perez, Fatai. Okay. That's the team. Obviously, lacking Ben Rabba, uh, Hackett's in, lacking Monaghan, uh, Zanfroff's in, but the rest of it is pretty much full strength. Um, not going to go out attacking like we did against Newcastle. That would be very nice if they can do the job as similar to what we did against Newcastle, but I don't think it's going to happen today. Um, obviously, being the home leg first, like we did against PSG, like we did against Spurs. I would like a nice nice win to no goals. Obviously, we beat PSG 4-0, we beat Spurs 5-0. So don't expect that to happen again. But you never know. Um, yeah, keep the good run going. We're doing okay at the moment. Scored a few goals. Man United in their black shorts. Yeah, uh, so we beat Man United both home and away this year. I can't remember how what the score was away. I think it was 2-1, wasn't it? At home, I think it was 4-2. That's a good challenge. An early highlight here, though. Here's Hackett. Came on and did a good job, actually. That's a challenge. That could be inside the area. Ah, uh, I think it might be outside, but that could be inside. What's he going to say? First minute. Have we got a penalty in the first minute? It's very close. Free kick. No, we don't have a penalty in the first minute. We have a free kick, though. Here's Poyak. Whipped in and headed in! 
Michael Hackett in the second minute. What a start. We are just setting the team team's world alight with our football at the moment. Oh no, Hackett says he wants to come off. I'm going to try and keep him in. My word, we can't look forward to lose Hackett and Ben Rabba. Hackett's just scored and then looks like he's got taken a bit of a knock. Yeah, we should be able to nurse him through the rest of the match. I probably won't nurse him through the rest of the match. I'll see if he can get through to half time, maybe a bit later. Hour at most. But we've got Perez on the bench who can do a job on the right as well. They're not playing Kwasi. Kwasi, I was looking at the stats actually, he's not had a very good season. He's doing uh, what he was doing at ours. He's not really played that much either, to be fair. When you've got Suleiman and Venberg and Torin and they're good players, you're not going to get in ahead of them. But we're 1-0 up. 1-0 suits us fine. I don't think we're going to do as well as we did against PSG and Spurs, but 1-0 I'll take all the way to the bank. Because a, a, a goal away from home then puts United under serious pressure. But at the moment, it looks like United are the aggressors. Just going by those statistics there. Yeah, Hackett's going to have to come off. There you go, Bruzny. Uh, can't afford to keep him on. He might get worse. So two injuries to, to, to our two right midfielders in two games. Says a lot. What can, what can Perez do? Okay, play inside forward then. Give that a go. Run at the goal. Perez is a good player though. So I have no problem with him. But they want us to make more long balls forward. Maybe that's a way to uh, kind of get over the back of them. Because at the moment they seem to be coming forward a bit more. Poljak now. What's happened? Why are all our players getting injured? Poljak's taking a knock. I'm going to try and see if he can get through it, but going to have to think about subbing him as well. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Luckily, they're not serious. Uh, go ahead and give these fans their money's worth. I might. It's a little bit risky, but I, I figured this game might might get away from us. I'm going to go and play attack him. And hope that that might uh, trigger something. Um, we're playing very direct. Let's play standard. And let's focus play down the left for now because Poliak's on the pitch. Here's Harvey. Have we got an opportunity here? Throw in. Zanfroth brings it down. Zanfroth. Oof. You'd have had your name in the lights if you'd have scored that, Zanfroff. But you played very well against Newcastle, to be fair to him. Um, right, okay. I'm going to think about Poljak now. Bring it on as melee. It's not ideal. I mean, that 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 attacking three behind Bruninho to have... that They're all second stringers. Uh, Habib Kouassi's coming on as well. He scored a couple of goals against us. In the past, yeah, I'm going to take off Poljak just because he just, ah, uh, yeah. I might be able to get away with it, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to bring on Ismaili. He could do a similar job. And obviously he scored in the last game, which I'm buzzing with. Still, I'm in an iron about what to do with him next year. I won't sell him, but I might loan him out to a Premier League team. Hope that he gets a lot of first team football. And then, uh Think about bringing someone else in on loan, but that might be pointless. Um, we'll just stay with Perez. I mean, we've got Perez, play, keep Perez as the left winger. Obviously, got Hackett to back up Ben Rabbit. It's still 1 0 at the moment. It's quite an edgy game, very, very close. Um, as I said, 1 0 suits me. 1 0 suits me, no problem. But we've not played fantastically. Um, I'm going to bring on Rublevsky here, get him to play advance forward, and get Zanfroff just to drop back into support. Right, okay. We're okay at the moment. Um, one nil is absolutely fine. That early goal, that second minute goal, looks like it's a difference. Well, this is set up a bit differently to the other ties. Obviously, we beat PSG 4 0, finished that tie. We beat Spurs 5 0, finished that tie. This is very much open, but it's still a win against a, to nothing. A, quite a 
dull affair by the looks of it. A second minute goal from a Michael Hackett header, but not much has happened since then. Um, going to tell them they've done well because if you win the first leg at home and not concede a goal, it puts you in a very strong position for the second leg. You, we get a quick goal, Man United are in trouble. There you go. Two very different kind of games, lads. Two very different kind of games. But they're two wins nonetheless. We are officially champions of England. Uh, we've got four games left to go in the league, which I will sort of rotate. But the Champions League, it's not sorted yet. It's not sewn up. We've got a tough game away at Old Trafford. We're 1-0 up. Um, Going to hope might sort of play counter-attack, try and uh, get a quick goal and then hold, stay back, but we'll see about that. We'll worry about that in the next episode. Uh, Bournemouth and Man United will be the next episode. Um, we are champions, so we can rest assured that we've got that title on the bag. We've got an FA Cup final against West Ham coming up. Hopefully we've got a Champions League final coming up. That treble is what we want next. Cheers then.